हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन मॉलिकुलर सिमेट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द लास्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ सिमेट्री दैट इज आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो Identity element of symmetry is the simplest element of symmetry. That is to do nothing with the molecule, but to rotate the molecule through zero degree or three sixty degree. So it brings back the molecule into its original configuration, or it shows the identical image directly. It is called as identity element of symmetry. For example, a molecule where carbon is connected to four different constituents. So there is no plane of symmetry, no center of symmetry. no proper rotational axis no improper rotational axis so if we rotate the molecule through 0 degree or 360 degree we'll get the identical image so this is called as identity element of symmetry so this is the example where carbon atom is at the center and it is connected to four different constituents so if we rotate the molecule through any other degree we will not get the equivalent image so the simplest thing is to rotate the molecule through 360 degree so it is called as identity element of symmetry in future when we will write the character tables it is very important to understand the relation between identity element and other symmetry elements so let's begin with relation between identity and proper rotational axis of symmetry for example consider bcl3 molecule in bcl3 molecule there is a c3 rotational axis which is a principal rotational axis around which if we carry out the operation through 120 degree we will get an equivalent image if we repeat the operation we will get another equivalent image and still if we repeat the operation we will get an identical image so after three rotations around c3 rotational axis we get the same image that is identical image therefore we can write c3 raised to 3 is equal to e that is the relation between principal rotational axis of symmetry and identity element so in general we can write cn raised to n is equal to e that is any rotational axis of symmetry if it is rotated at same number of times we get the same image that is identical image in this way there is another relation which is established that is c3 raised to 4 is nothing but c3 raised to 1 that is c3 raised to 3 is cancelled so this is the relation between identity element and proper rotational axis of symmetry let's go for the second relation that is relation between identity element and plane of symmetry consider bcl3 molecule and at center there is a plane which bisects the molecule into two halves which are mirror images of each other so if we carry out this operation we will first get equivalent image and after second operation we will get identical image so here we can write sigma square is equal to e and in general we can write sigma raised to n is equal to identity element so this is the relation between identity element and plane of symmetry let's understand the relation between identity element and center of symmetry consider the example of trans dichloroethylene in this molecule through the center if we draw the lines at opposite direction it meets the same type of elements so if we carry out this operation we will get first equivalent image and if we repeat this operation we will finally get an identical image so in general we can say that i raised to n is equal to e that is identity element or identical image when n is even and i raised to n is equal to i or equivalent image that is when n is odd this is the relation between identity element and center of symmetry let's understand the last relation that is relation between identity element and improper rotational axis of symmetry here we are considering trans dichloroethylene if we rotate this molecule through 180 degree that is through c2 rotational axis followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis we will first get equivalent image if this image further rotation around c2 axis that is through 180 degree again followed by reflection in a plane perpendicular to the rotational axis we will finally get an identical image so here we have to remember that s2 is equal to c2 into sigma h 
and if we carry out the same operation again we can write s2 raised to 2 is equal to c2 raised to 2 into sigma h raised to 2 we have seen earlier that c2 raised to 2 is equal to identity element and sigma h square is also an identity element therefore s2 raised to 2 is identity into identity that is to get an identical image so in general we can write that Sn raised to m is equal to Cn raised to m if m is even and Sn raised to m is equal to Cn raised to m into sigma if m is odd. So this is the relation between identity element and improper axis of symmetry. I hope you understood what is identity element and its relation with all other symmetry elements. In the next video we will study point groups and different types of point groups associated with different molecules. If you like my video Click on like, share and subscribe my channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.